してるより愛してることを伝えることができます。Alright, everybody, quiet on the set, quiet on the set. Alright, this is a very important video from Ma Terry. Alright,、uh, cue the co star. Where's Miss Lucy? Alright, we got her. Alright, send her in. Well, hello there, everybody. Ma Terry here along with her fabulous co star, Miss Lucy. And boy, do we have a good one for you today. All right, y'all know I'm always out there camping, and one of the things I like to do is eat. And the problem is, these little butane canisters, I keep watching them go up.、Um, remember, it was in December, I was able to buy four of them for $4.99, then it went up to $6.99 within a month. Well, the other day I was in a store, probably a crazy store. $7.99 for one butane canister. And you know, you may say, oh, that doesn't happen. You know, I'm always going to get it at Walmart or whatever. But sometimes you're in areas where they got you and you definitely need this. So what I did was compile a list of nine or ten, because I can't count, of the best ways on how to make this last even longer. So let's begin. Number one, everybody loves pasta. Everybody loves rice. The problem is, it takes forever for it to come to a boil and for you to cook it thoroughly. Well, I like mine al dente, not my rice, my pasta. So, one of the things is, is begin with hot water. Now, how do you get hot water, especially someone like me that's always at the springs? Well, you know, usually I'll make my meals at nighttime, my pasta. And、uh, in the morning, I'll fill this up, and you can paint these bottles black, and you can use something like this. So, you put your water in here, paint it black, and put it out in the sun. And in a couple of hours later, you're going to have some really nice hot water. So, that's tip number one don't start with cold water, start with hot water. And that's also a nice way to give yourself a bird bath. Number two, all right, so I love coffee, and I like making coffee. But did you know your coffee doesn't have to come to a full boil? I mean, you're just wasting elect electricity. You're just wasting gas on it anyhow. So, why not, when it gets hot enough to where you can drink it, turn it off? That'll save you some money right there. Number three. All right. One of my readers、uh, wrote in that they shop on Amazon and they get a Really big 24 pack for a lot less than you can get in stores.、Uh, that includes, so you have to plan ahead for stuff like that. Where is it going to get shipped and do you have the storage? Number four, slow cook your foods.、Um, you don't have to cook your food at the highest temperature unless it calls for that. Sometimes you can get away with a medium temperature. So just by turning it down a notch, trust me, it's going to stretch it out. Number five, first thing in the morning, you want that cup of coffee, so you put out your little butane stove right there on the dirt. That dirt is cold. Now, then, you're going to be drawing the heat from that, so you're going to be using more butane. So, try not to cook on a cold surface. What I do is I have the cookie sheet that's in my van, and it's pretty warm because、um, I didn't sleep with it, but it slept in the van with me. But I put my little butane cooker on top of here, and then also below here, so it's not directly touching the、uh, ground, I put little rocks on it. These little tips will save you in propane. All right, number six. All right, like I said, I love pasta, and the correct way to cook pasta is you get your water to a boiling, you break your pasta up, you throw it in there, and you let it boil for nine, eleven minutes until it's al dente. Well, did you know that you can actually put your pasta in the water as it comes to temperature? It will heat as it goes along, and then as it boils, let it boil for three or four minutes, then turn it off. It will continue cooking, and you're going to save yourself what? About eight minutes of butane? That's pretty cool. I should mention butane stoves are dangerous, they can explode, so really watch some good YouTube videos. Make sure you're not covering the little gas supply area to where you, know, you have a fry pan over it and it's sending the heat back into where the propane bottle is. All right, do your research. All right, now then. This is always cold. You know, it's cold right now in the room. But one thing to do, like let's say you're going to have coffee in the morning, you can wrap this up in a towel or blanket and get it warm, and then warmer, warmer butane 
will burn less, all right? So you want to warm up your canister. So if you have an extra sleeping bag or a jacket, and always make sure the little lid's on top of it, okay? So warmer butane will burn longer. Number eight, let's say you have a larger meal, okay? It's going to take 30 minutes on the stove, 15 minutes, whatever. All right, you will notice that this butane as it's cooking, as it's heating up your food, this gets colder and colder. So what you want to do is go back to the other technique where not only do you keep one butane wrapped in a towel or a blanket, keep two. So this way, if you're cooking after about 10 minutes, swap it out because like I said, the warmer canister will burn longer. So just stop your little butane cooking, swap in your new warm one, and then continue cooking. Number nine, put a lid on it. All right, you, you have no idea how many times I come up and people are cooking their food, whether they're boiling pasta, and before, I mean, just when you put the hot water on, go ahead and put your lid on it too. But um, like me, when I make my omelet, I throw my omelet fixings in the pan, put the lid on it, and the steam, it cooks both sides at once. So put a lid on it. All right. Now, number 10, listen to this carefully because this can cause problems, especially if you have a butane unit. All right, so what I have, like for my little sticks and twigs, this is a little windscreen and it can just go around. All right, now then, why are windscreens so important? And we're gonna talk about the butane one, okay? So let's say there's five miles per hour wind, okay? You know, you're going to use three times more fuel cooking your meal without a windscreen. So you definitely want to use a windscreen. Now then, when you have a butane stove, remember before I said you don't want to force hot air back into it. So you can make something out of rock that's encompassing it more. Do not box it in, okay? You never want that heat to be reflected back into where your little butane canister is. So if you have I forget, a fire pit, cook in the fire pit. That makes so much sense, doesn't it? And the reason why is you five miles per hour. That's all it takes, a slight breeze, and you're going to use three times the amount of butane. All right, Miss Lucy, are we ready to head out to the beach now that we know how to make our butane last even longer? She's so sleepy. All right, guys, I hope I helped someone. Like I said, um, if you have find it in your hearts, please share this video with others. Um, and have a great day. All right. What do we say, Miss Lucy? We will see you down the road.